To Temple Boy Turnings, you are all very welcome. This week, yeah, I know you've missed them. Uh, I think the last CD case project I did was I think I did the bottle stopper, which had a, a couple of the pieces of case in it, it was more wood. But the, the major one before that was the color changing. Uh, box that I made or pot or whatever you guys want to call it because uh, there's been a bit of controversy to whether it's a box uh, apparently a box isn't a box unless it's square I beg to differ to be honest with you because there are uh, post boxes they're round and there are pill boxes that are round um, and there are hat boxes that are round so yeah, there's round boxes, so it's a round box. Uh, yeah, so this week we are going to turn three half CDs. So we're going to separate them like this. We're not going to use that bit, but we are going to use that bit of each of the case. So three pieces of this, and we're going to chop them up and we're going to make a pen. From CD cases. So join me over at the bandsaw and I'll show you how it's done. Okay so what I've done here is because these CD cases have these um, edges to hold the cards in place we've got to remove those and uh, I have a pen blank just fixed against the uh, rail here and then I've just left a gap here of about uh, it's about three or four mil between the blade and the pen blank and that's just fixed solid so it will just take three or four mil off of the edge of each of these sides as I go around okay um, and that will just give me a square piece of plastic to work with then like this And that's that. That just takes off all the uh, the edges. And now what I do is I take away that clamp. I set my guard again. So it's up against just off of the blade. that up and remove it and these CD cases are funny enough just the same length as a pen blank so we're cutting the long side and we're just going to cut strips now before we do that we want to just drop the guard right down uh, the safety guard so that the fingers don't hit the blade. And then we just continue cutting our strips. And there you have it. That's just three one half sides of CD cases. So what we have here is I have the Sharpies that I'm going to be using to colour my blank. Um, you've seen me do that before. Now I have found out that with these particular colours, I'm not sure about other colours, I've not tried every type of pen that's out there. I only use these. These do tend to change colour with the chemicals that are in the glue. Um, and I'll show you what I mean here, if I can. If I colour some red in here, uh, 
and then put some glue on top. Okay. It stays red or it kind of goes pinky colour, okay? So red is fine. However, if I get green and I get the glue, that particular green turns blue and yellow will turn a red or an orange. You can see it just starting to change colour there. I don't know if you can see it. See, that's the yellow and it's turning red. So, you have to be aware when using these um, Sharpies that the glue, the chemicals in the glue can change the colour you're using. So experiment first before you add your colours. Right, on to our blank. I think I'm going to go with red and purple. So, we're going to go red. Again, I'm just scribbling. Now, there's a few of you who have mentioned, why don't I tape the markers together and do it that way? Well, because they'll both be going the same direction. Do you know, I want to scribble the purple the other way then. I don't want these to be in any ways even. I like the randomness. So I will... Uh, speed up going through this and we'll do the same with the purple then except I'm going to go this way with the purple There you go that's the all the CD pieces all um, colored in and when they're put together they give you this kind of um, pinky reddish or purple color which is kind of a cool color okay next is we just glue them all together now what I would normally do is I would glue two or three and then I would get a couple of clamps and I clamp them on like this and then I glue two or three others and put another clamp on those and by the time I've done those these would be dry and then I I'm not going to do it this time I'm just going to see can I just glue stick glue stick glue stick and just build this up straight away because I want to see how fast I can build these and turn them and uh, I'm not a very patient man well I kind of am I suppose but I just want to see can I do this the quick way. Now it could go drastically wrong and explode when we go to turn it, but let's give it a try anyway. So, again, all I do is flood down the centre, get the next one, drop it on, give it a push in this case because I'm not using a clamp and you can see that the glue is starting to smear the colors together okay and I've stuck the blank to the board and remember to always use some greaseproof paper or baking paper so you don't stick your piece to the bench. Okay, I'm gonna speed this up um, now. Try 
try not, if you can, to stick your glove to the pen blank. Really wouldn't advise that. Back to speeding up. Okay, so that just took me about three minutes, about three minutes I'd say. And what I'm going to do now is peel it off of here and I'm just going to stick these two big clamps on here. One there. And one there. Maybe I'll put a couple in the middle. Just because I can. And I am going to leave that to set. Okay, so my plank my blank has gone off good and solid. And it just looks like a square acrylic blank now. Uh, a little bit rough on the edges where the glue's seeped out. But more glue is better than not enough glue. And as you can see, I've trimmed the edges and it's exactly the same size as a normal pen blank. So, don't need the wooden one. This is what we're working with. Now, I've got a silver slimline um, pen kit here and all I need at the moment is the two tubes so I'll put the rest away so it doesn't get lost I would always advise to keep them all the pieces in the bags as well if you're making these pens in the little separate bags until you need them because you will not maybe but you will lose the pieces and it'll be a waste of a kit. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take it over to the bandsaw and we're going to cut this into two pieces the same length as these tubes. So, um, normally what you do is you take these, uh, these blanks over to the drill press and you put them in the drill press and you drill them out and uh, that would be that. But what I found is my drill press is too fast for a start. I can't reduce the speed any lower than it is. And not only that, these melt extremely easy. As soon as the drill starts going into it, they, they melt. So, the best way i found is to get a tiny little pilot drill bit like this one. Um, and just use a, drill, a, a normal hand drill um, and get it as square as you can. Now I've already drilled this one to slope it off but it will be fine once uh, we get turning it'll be fine. There's pl still plenty of meat there once, I've, uh, once I drill that out. And what I do is I just work the drill a bit at a time just like this. clean it off and I keep going and as you can see it's going in there and it's not melting the plastic because I'm not letting the friction build up 
Yeah, we're through. And we're not too bad. We're not bad off center on that one. And then I just, um, I repeat, repeat the same thing just with bigger drills and just work my way through. My, my. That looks kind of cool. And Yorkshire grit does it again. That's like glass. Okay. And there you go, guys. One pink CD case pen. And that I think my wife or one of my daughters is going to steal because it is really nice. It's come up really cool. I like it anyway. Uh, the gold underneath, the, the gold of the the tube, the brass tube, has kind of given it a metallic -y look. I'll put some pictures up at the end as usual, and you can take a good look at it. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, please thumbs up. If you haven't, thumbs down. Uh, and if you do do either of those, please leave a comment down below to let me know why you've done it. Um, I do love the comments that, that I get back. Um, it's sometimes very difficult to get to answer all of the comments. I think I've caught up now. I think I replied to something like 360 comments last week, uh, which is crazy, but brilliant too. Um, I love getting feedback on my videos and with every video I try and prove ready for the next one. Um, yeah, so like I say, that's, that's another CD case project in the can, and I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for all my new subscribers. You're all very welcome. And thank you to you all for tuning in again and watching my videos. Uh, and that's it. I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.